What's up YouTube family, what's up baby squad and welcome to another bang You guys already know how we do it here on the BP channel So make sure you're already subscribed Make sure you like this video because like in this video Make sure more people can get to watch this amazing content guys So in today's video we'll be sharing with you some of the hardest things about being a foreigner in China And make sure guys make sure you watch till the end Because at the end we have a bonus for you So the more that you watch this content The more that you share this content The more that I get to upload more bangers, more content like this guy. So let's get into today's video. <laughs> Number one, and it's not not being able to date Chinese girls. Honestly, if you want to do that, you know what to do. Number one, make sure, make sure. The other thing about being in China is the language itself. Guys, honestly. Chinese is no joke, I'm saying. <laughs> Chinese language is no joke for anyone. So if you want to come study from China, make sure you're prepared to come. Bring your best when you want to study Chinese. Make sure that's happening every single time. Make sure you're on your grind. Make sure you're talking to Chinese people. Make sure so many things happen for you to enjoy your stay in China. Because guys, without the Chinese, one, you can't date the nice Chinese girls. So you don't know how, how that's like. Make sure your Chinese is on point and still. Honestly, I don't want to downplay any of the good parts that are there in China, but you have to know, you have to know that the second thing that you should be on the lookout for is honestly, if you want help in China with how everyone in China just speaks Chinese and you want someone to help you do something, it's a bit hard for you to ask for help from, from the natives because the minute that you go there and they see that you're a foreigner, they'll just be, ah, oh, oh, no, no, like they are not willing to help you like that. So that's one thing that you should also like be on the lookout for because you Chinese that speak English sorry but for the ones that do not they will mostly be hey, no we don't know what, you, what you're talking about but that should not discourage you because honestly I don't know about where other people in China live if they're in China and they're watching this just comment below where you stay and so the third thing that as foreigners we find to be challenging about China comes from the social bias comes from the stereotypes that are already there in China. These are stereotypes that I'm sure every place has, but these are what we find to be challenging about China. You see, when you come here, the only way that most of the Chinese people are afraid of foreigners is through TV from something that they've perhaps watched. And let's be frank, most of the things that you have watched um, about China might not be positive. And that's like what we're like trying to get away from because for the time that I've been in China, I've honestly had positives, like an awful lot of positives. So that's why I'm saying the other problem that as foreigners we find to be challenging comes from stereotypes, things that people already assume about us as foreigners and maybe that's where we are getting that. When someone passes maybe as a black person, they might think I probably drink too much, I'm a player, I have a little girlfriend, I'm like always sitting on girlfriends, which is not always true, but that's something which you should be aware of. The fourth, the fourth thing, honestly, some do find this to be good, but at some point it just becomes something that you can't really take it. There aren't that many foreigners in China and when you do stay here for a while, you notice people wanting to take pictures with you. Like they will always want to take pictures with you. They will always be people that want to take pictures with you. And that's okay when you first come here because you, you, you do enjoy the attention. But after a while it just gets it just gets tiresome and people taking pictures of you as you're walking. You may sometimes start to feel uncomfortable, but that's something that you should expect as you hope to come to China. So this unwanted attention is something that's going to be there and you, be, you better be pressed for it, like take it full force, like it's not that bad to be frank, but it's something that you should be prepared to find in China. And this, and there is a lack of compassion and empathy I would say. This is how it's coming off to me as a foreigner. You see, in China there is this level of responsibility where whoever is in charge of something, is supposed to be held accountable whenever something that's in that department goes wrong. So what gets to happen is, say for instance, I I am driving, then I bash into some someone's car, and if someone is sick, sorry, if someone is injured from that same accident, what's going to happen is we're supposed to wait for the police to come and assess what 
went wrong and then the boys are supposed to get to the hospital. And whenever someone does some wrong things, they'll fail. They will get everyone that's in charge and hold them accountable. And so there is that level of responsibility. And so you may feel like most people are do not have empathy and are not compassionate because that that's scared probably that uh, they will be held accountable for things that are not in charge. And so there is that, and that's how it comes off to me as a foreigner, and probably a lot of foreigners. So that's something that you should be expecting as you come to China. Now at this point, I just had to say this one, and you all know this one was coming, being scammed. So how serious is it, and how do we find it as foreigners here in China? First of all, China has a lot of good products. A lot of good products, let me just say that. Um, it has almost anything that you can think of, at least all the things that I've thought of uh, here in China. So, how being scammed is a hard thing in China for foreigners. Mainly stems from the first challenge that I mentioned, the language barrier. And being scammed, honestly, it's not going to be a good problem if you know what you want to get and you are willing to get them through the correct channels. However, being scammed is a problem for some people and that's something that's slowly being done away with because for one, China does not use cash or does not, um, okay, it, it does not encourage the use of physical cash. So most of us use our cell phones to pay for what it is that we want to buy. So that's some of the things that we are supposed to be, we are supposed to know about China. Yes. Here's the short right now. Firstly, the problem is language. That's a hard part that if you put in the effort, you get to know the language. But that's a problem that you're supposed to uh, embrace as a foreigner in China. And that's a hard thing for us foreigners here in China. Secondly, there is an unwillingness to help foreigners. And so that's something that you should also take note of. Thirdly, there is social bias. Foreigners are thought of in a certain manner and that's also a problem for us because some of the, the things that we are thought of aren't actually correct and the things that are actually rough to like get around because to be frank most of what they know is from TV so that's also a problem. There is a lack of compassion and empathy and being scammed so these are some of the things that are really difficult about China. And these are things that are, I find to be difficult about staying in China as a foreigner. Yeah, so if you stay in China and there are other things that you know are a problem for you, just leave a comment for You have come this far and let's be honest, the hardest things I've mentioned about being a foreigner in China are not that hard if you really think about it. And so here is the bonus. I know you have all been waiting for this and this is the bonus. Give China a chance. Really, you should give it a chance. Because I know up to now, you probably have this idea of what China is. I'm saying, give it a chance. I'm not saying you're going to enjoy it. I'm not saying you'll find what you're looking for. I'm saying, give it a chance. And you might find what you're actually looking for. Until next time, make sure you're subscribed, sharing this video. And honestly, this is just a family. And most of my videos will not be as good, but... With you supporting me, with you making sure you correct my errors, honestly, be able to give you more content like this. So.